In the last two videos, we learned about parallel routes, which lets us simultaneously display multiple pages in the same layout without changing the URL. Before we move on to the next topic, let's briefly discuss about conditional routes. Parallel routes offer a way to implement conditional routing. For instance, based on the user's authentication state, you can choose to render the dashboard for authenticated users or a login page for those who are not authenticated. This is powerful as it enables fully separated code on the same URL. Let's head back to VS Code and implement the scenario. First off, we will create the login slot. In the complex dashboard folder, create a subfolder named add login. Within this folder, create a file page.tsx. In this file, define and export a simple React component. You can copy a component from another slot Rename it to login and change the text to please login to continue. Typically, you would have a login form here for users to input their details, but for now, this text will suffice. Back in layout.tsx, within the dashboard layout, let's import the new slot through props. and also add the type. In the JSX, create a new constant is logged in and set it to true. In a real world scenario, you would probably use a function like get user or use auth to determine the user's authentication state. However, to maintain simplicity and focus on conditional routes, we will assume the user is logged in and assign a value of true. In the return statement, we will decide which slots to render based on the is logged in value. So return if is logged in the current JSX, otherwise the login slot. If we head back to the browser, you should continue to see the dashboard UI as we have set is logged in to true. If we flip the value to false, and head back to the UI. You can see, please log in to continue. This is the login slot. If you don't see the login card component, please restart the dev server. As you can see, parallel routes allow us to conditionally render pages based on certain conditions, keeping our code well separated under the same URL. This login slot also benefits from independent error and loading states as well as subnavigation to a possible signup or forgot password route. In the browser, if we navigate to slash archived, you can see we have a 404 page not found error. As an exercise, I want you to fix this error based on what you've learned about unmatched routes in the previous video. Let me know in the comment section if you were able to make this work. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.